things that I found out after doing ayahuasca was that all this time that I have been connecting with uh, my physical self, what I was doing as my forte, my strength, is as an energy being. Okay? Energy beings are connected closer to the higher self. And without knowing it, by accident, I have been talking to my higher self since, so for 30 years, 30 plus years. I didn't know that's what I was doing, but that's what I was doing. And this higher self, in my case, is feminine. Now, I had called that wrong. I thought it was masculine, but it isn't. It's feminine. Found that out in my ayahuasca experience. The other option is a physical being. What I call physical being. And this is connected more with your physical body. Body. Or what I call the skin suit. Which I have not been connected. And actually the skin suit is separate from the physical entity. But these two are tied together. Pretty closely. The physical aspect higher self. And this physical body for me is masculine. So when, remember whenever I told you you're in source, there's source, you step out of source and that's you, but you're big so you go and play a game there and you watch a game here and you play in a game there and then you Can play you in a game up? here, you? you play in a game here and this is the earth game. So just a part of you goes down into the earth game, right? Whenever you do that, you step in duality because this game is all about duality. And the first thing you do is you split yourself into life and dark energies. But the next thing that you do very quickly in this process getting down to earth is you have to divide your energy between this energy part and the physical part. Now, if you come into this as a, where your forte is energy, which is mine, which I've never been uh, in on earth before, and I've never been much in physical, very little in physical, it's not my forte. I am an energy being on the other side, primarily. So I came in with that being my forte, and as that is my forte, the energy self part of this, when you split and you have to choose, the energy side of myself, was in charge. So I was much more connected to my higher self, which I happened to access via an Ouija board in my, let's see, Curtis was four or five years old. And uh, so I would have been mid to late 20s. So I had Curtis when I was 21, so it would have been 20, 25, 24, 20, 25, 26, something in there, mid 20s. And I was in a place where I didn't have any money at all. I had like $10. And I got this very powerful uh, message. And I didn't do messages back then. I talked to God, but um, I didn't get messages back because that's not what we were taught in the Church of Christ. You don't get messages back. But I got this real strong message to go buy a Ouija board. Didn't know anything about Ouija boards, really, other than what I'd seen on TV, which was mostly bad, by the way. But still is. Finally, still is, okay. <laughs> Um, finally, I gave into it because it was so strong. It took my last ten dollars, and I had a four-year-old. Oh, that's how strong it was. Went to Walmart, and that was back in the days when Walmart actually had Ouija boards. There was one on the shelf. I bought it, took it home, read the instructions. But there, you're supposed to have two people. I didn't have two people. I just had one. So I put it on my knees, and I put my hands, both hands, on the little thing to push it around, and it moved by itself. Now I knew that. Nobody else would probably believe it, but I don't really care what other people believe. And it said, uh, said, I said, is somebody there? It said, yes. I said, who are you? And it spelled out this long name, really long name, <laughs> too long a name for me. And I got bored and said, well, that's too long for me. I'm just going to call you Mark. Don't ask me why. I just picked Mark out of the blue. And that's how I kind of attached uh, masculine to that higher self. I started asking any questions with the Ouija board over the next probably month. And very quickly it got so that as I was asking the question, spelling it out, 
I would get the answer in my head before I even finished spelling out the question. And then that went from me asking <coughs> questions and getting the answer right in my head. So I put the Ouija board back in the closet, never told anybody about what was going on. But since then, I have talked to Mark, not knowing who Mark was. Well, now I know who Mark was. Mark was my higher self. So because I was came in as an energy being, I was stronger at connecting. That was easier to connect to my higher self. Also, it is my norm to look at the big picture of things, another energy being thing. Tend to look at the big pictures, move fast, not very good at detail stuff on this planet, specifically and especially in the third dimension. And I'm not very good at that. I'm very good at being able to handle a lot of things at once, get them done very rapidly, seeing the big picture, getting people to work as a team, but terrible at, at tiny um, tiny things. Um, I'm even not very good at fine motor movement things. We make a joke about it. If you want brute force, you call me. If you want tiny stuff done, you call Stephanie. She's the tiny, tiny thing person. Okay? So, what I found out is, if your higher self is female, your physical self is going to be masculine. And these are massively feminine and massively masculine energies. All right? And if you're physical, if you're connected more to your physical, and that's masculine, then your um, higher self is going to be feminine. So one will be feminine, the other will be masculine. That's completely and totally your call whenever you had to divide up due to duality. And you had to divide up and you had to choose where your focus was going to be. Just like when you come out of, of um, source, you've got to decide what, what things you're going to uh, focus on the most. And when you come down here and you're dealing with all those prisms, you've got to decide which prism you're going to focus on from this perspective. Now, from a higher self perspective, it's focusing on all the different aspects, all the different prism choices, all of them as they go along in the now. But from this perspective, you have to choose. And coming down into this physical form, you had to divide into physical and energy, higher self and physical body that is tied to this skin suit. And as you guys, anybody that's watched my videos, you know that I've complained endlessly that I'm not very good at running this physical body, that I have a hard time stepping from place to place, that I tend towards accidents all the time, forever breaking bones or twisting my ankle or falling down all the time. That will improve now that I've done ayahuasca and I understand the physical. Okay, so you need to really decide. You need to look within yourself and find out if you lean towards energy. Is that where your focus has been or on physical? Chances are if you're an energy being, usually if you come in as a starseed and you tend towards energy creations, you're going to be more comfortable on this side. You will have chosen that to be what you focused on primarily when you came into 3D game. That was your forte. That was your strength. You would have leaned towards that. If you are more into physicality, and this would be someone like Michelle or uh, Maria, that are very, very good at physicality, very good at physicality, then they would be tied very good. Oh, and Seth. Seth's good at it, too. They would be better at the skin suit thing and be more uh, aligned with an easy, they've had an easier time talking to their physical aspect. So you need to decide which side you're on, first of all. And then you need to decide whether or not you are, your, your higher self is masculine or feminine and your physical part of you is masculine or feminine. And there's a reason for that as you go back into oneness as all of this collapses back into oneness. All of this was divided because you came down to 3D Earth and it was a requirement to divide into, into duality. But because you knew you were going to be going back into oneness, you divided it within yourself in this way. Now, as an energy being, most of the time when we create, we send a powerful... Um, Tilt it up, please. Power. We send out, an energy person sends out a powerful broad, here we are, 
we send out this powerful beam to create that's broader, like this, on the end. We send it out broader. So it affects change in a more broad way. So instead of, whereas let's go over here, a physical person will send out a laser beam of energy like this to a specific point, okay? So if you are more on the physical side, you need to know that when you affect and create change, that is going to be point by point. So you need to look at it like that. You need to understand that that's how you create. And you need to head towards this kind of creation. And if you're an energy being, you know that you do this, you need to realize that you're going to probably change a whole uh, things from a broad spectrum. Like you're going to change, you can see it, your job. And you're going to say, you're not going to say, I want this other job. No, you're probably going to say, I want a job that I have fun at. And I want how that's going to affect everything around me to, to work out better. So you're going to change the job, whatever it is. You're not specific for the job. And that it will improve, improve your life. And you need to head towards being able to create more like this side. Include this and this. Both needs to create both kinds. This kind and this kind. And if you're over here, you will probably say, well, I want to change this job into another job. And then you'll go to the next point. You'll say, I want my friendships to be improved in this way. I want my marriage to be improved in this way. Very, very laser point, sharp, strong, strong um, energies that you do on a single point. Almost cannot not get it done. The energies are so strong on that specific point. Now, eventually, when you add these two together, you join and you remember how to do this. And you guys remember how to do this. Then this becomes like this. Here's you. And this energy is coming from you. And it will encase a broad spectrum. But what you will do is you will send laser sharp energies to a broad area of things like this. So this will fit into this. So you've got that kind of laser energetic power but you'll have it on a broad spectrum of things when you learn to do both of these things okay that is merging out of duality merging the energy self and the physical self into this now another thing that you need to know is you need to know that as an energy person operating in a big picture type of way that you are looking from the outside in. Energy is looking from the outside in. So here's a circle that you're dealing with, whatever it is you're looking at. As an energy being, an energy being is out here looking outside in. Okay? Most of the time, outside in. A physical being is creating from the inside out. And these two ways of creating are completely different from each other. Completely different from each other. But as you're moving up to 5D, if your forte is an energy being, you must figure out that you are an energy being. You must understand how you have been creating outside in. And then you must add to it your physical creationary process from the inside out. Now the outside in, I realized that whenever I had my NDE, went to who I really am, saw the being that I really am, looked around and saw everything was created. Physicality, however, confused the bejesus out of me. So I solved this problem with the ayahuasca experience, at which point I connected with my physical self, found out my physical self was very masculine, understood the relationship between my energetic self and my physical self, 
that was connected through the skin suit. Skin suit connects us both. The uh, skin suit brain connects the energy body, the energy being, energy self, your energy self. All of us have an energy self and a physical self, by the way. All of us do. It's just some of us have more experience on one side or the other. So the skin, I mean the brain in the skin suit connects into the skin suit and then the physical five senses connects the physical self into the skin suit. And so walking around in this skin suit, we connect them both. Most of the time we keep them very far apart from each other, but nonetheless, they are connected together. And they have to both be brought into this skin suit in the fifth dimension. You're going to be in this skin suit. But this skin suit is going to raise vibration. It'll be a lot lighter. And in the process, before you get to 5D, you must take in this energy self of you that's from the celestial, spiritual, soul level of you that is more energy. And you need to merge it or be aware of it as well as the physical aspects of you. I mean, on the other side, physical attributes that are you. And they both have to come together in this skin suit to take and balance. You have to bring them in and balance them. Now, fortunately, because ahead of time you were thinking, thinking ahead of time, right now my energy self is feminine. My physical self is masculine. So when I bring in my energy self into this suit, and I bring in the, and, and give energy and power and strength to the physical aspects of my skin suit, I'm also bringing in the masculine and feminine energies. So I can balance the energies and the, the energy part, celestial soul part, and the physicality part of me. And I could do that at the same time. I'm bringing in feminine and masculine energies into this skin suit. I can balance them at the same time. Now I'm ready to raise to 5D. Right? Does that make sense? Clear as mud. Right? Okay. So that is, this is very, very important. You've got to, um, like I said, I thought I was collect, connecting to the physical self. I was not. I was not. Until I watched that, I didn't realize that I was approaching physicality from the outside in. And that's a very energetic way of looking at physicality outside in. That's what energy beings do. But in physicality, you actually build physical stuff inside this game and outside this game from the inside out. You stand on the inside and you look on the inside and you bring it from the inside out. So from that perspective, also, whenever you bring the energy and the physical aspects of you into balance, not only do you balance this energy and this physical, the masculine and the feminine, but you also are going to balance the thinking of outside in and inside out. And you can bring those into balance. You're going to bring all of this into togetherness, into oneness, so that energy and physical become one. Masculine and feminine become one. There will no longer be a difference between the energy self and the physical self. There will only be self. There won't be a difference between masculine and feminine. It will no longer exist. There won't be a... a there won't be identifying markers as to whether or not you're masculine and feminine when you move into 5D. You can portray yourself as masculine or feminine, but the energies themselves that are now identified as masculine or feminine will be merged into oneness the way that we started out. This is the process that everything is done. Everything is done. As we lose that fractal nature of ourselves and this planet, or put them back together again and back into balance and merge them into each other and then into the next thing and the next thing until we get back to oneness. It's the defractaling that everybody's been talking about. Fractal, fractal, fractal. When you move up to 5D, you're going to defractal. You're going to stop that. You're going to start adding things together. And ultimately, light and dark will merge together into oneness. 
where you will see that they were never, they were separated just as a, at a whim. And they absolutely can live in one place and do normally. And eventually, when you get all of this done and you're living in 5D and you've had enough, then you'll collapse it all down into including time space, which will collapse, the last fractals will collapse into a place of now time. That all of that stuff of linear time space is done because of the fractaling. You fractal things down and you break them down and then you break those down and then you break those down over and over and over millions and millions of times. In order to experience those fractals, that division, that breaking down to make, make things smaller and smaller and smaller, the only way a, a being can experience those things after being broken down, 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 is to do it in linear time space. That is why 3D Earth is linear time and space. That's why 4D is also in linear time space, but it starts to play with it. Because to go from 3D to 4D, there's a lot of things that have to collapse and defractal. that have. It's just people aren't aware of it. A lot of things have collapsed and merged. But, as I've said before in those other videos, unless you are open to understanding that you've been, you've had a forte of one or the other, whether it's energy, physical, masculine, or feminine, but you must figure out that there's another side to this, a dualistic side to this, that you have to accept and balance and merge. So you cannot have things, judgment about things that, well, if I can talk to my higher self, I'm more enlightened than you are. Versus a physical person that's really in shape, who's also always healthy, that can uh, climb to the top of Mount Everest. For them to say, well, I'm better than you are because I'm in such physical shape and you're not. It's that kind of judgment gets in the way of that person or people around them understanding that you talk to your higher self and you can do meditation easily because you are leaning towards energetic side of who we are. Whereas I may be leaning towards the physical side of me, which means I can do all of these things easily. So no judgment, just an understanding. Just an understanding. And whether or not you're in a male or female body is irrelevant. If you are stronger... In, with the masculine energies, male or female, it's not relevant. What is, is to understand that your strengths have been masculine. And therefore, let's look into the feminine aspects because we need to include those now, balance them and accept them into who we are because we split that out whenever we're fractaling down to get into 3D Earth, as did everyone else. So when we're talking about gay or straight people, whether or not you lean towards the masculine energies or the feminine energies doesn't have anything to do with what your body looks like at all. Now, you can come up with all kinds of scientific methods and reasons as to why that happens, but ultimately it comes down to when you came down into physical form and you were an energy being and you came down and you decided to hang on to make the energy side of you, the higher self side of you, the feminine, then that's what you did. And just by happenstance, for whatever other reasons you had, you were in a masculine body. So what? That just means that's the role, that's the, the uh, costume that you put on to play 3D Earth. That's all it means. Don't judge other people for what costume they decided to put on. You just understand that they're in a costume to do whatever it is they wanted to do. Help Gaia or have multiple experiences or both. That whatever costume they put on in whatever manner they put on is perfect for them and way to go. The important thing is for you to figure out where you need to defractal. And if you're a feminine person and you have bad attitude towards masculine energies, you got an issue getting to 5D and vice versa. 
And if you're a strongly physical person, but you've got a problem with people who are highly uh, intuitive or into spiritualities, then you have a problem getting 5D. All of those judgments, whether it's about others or yourself, interfere with the defractaline process. Because defractaline, heading towards oneness, is all about balance and inclusion. Because you are going to go from you are going to go from all of these options, all of these prisms, all of these aspects, whatever it is you want to all of these timeline possibilities, all of those have to be collapsed like this. One at a time, you have to collapse yours down. Long-term humans have a lot more to collapse than you do. But they are better at it, so they can do it faster. But this is just step one. Then you have to collapse these. And then you have to collapse these. And this is a handful on this little chart. There's many, many more of them. Collapse, 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 collapse. Because this is how it was created. Getting to 3D. We started with one, split it out, split it out again, split it out again, split it out over and over and over again. And when it got down to this, somewhere along here actually, Time space was introduced so that people could really experience this breakdown, this fractaling down, so they could get into a human body and really have the experience of these things that were broken down, broken down. And these are tiny compared to the all it is. Which is why it is gone, by the way. Because you can be in the all that is in now time. You can come out like this and be you. You can access this at any time. You can jump back in that. You're in it anyway. You just got to go expand. Okay, now I remember everything. I'm with the source. Then you go, okay, back to me. Back to X. But that wasn't good enough for the gods that we are. We wanted to take a tiny bit of this. And break it down into teeny, teeny, tiny little bits and pieces. And then insert human body, amnesia, and time space to experience it in a very, very specific way. Okay? All right. That's it for this one. Love you guys so much. And I'll talk to you later. Oh, by the way, when I did my other 350 videos... You guys were not shy about asking questions. This is way more complex. There is no question that is dumb. Okay? But if you don't ask me questions, I don't know what to say to you. And I know that this stuff is hard. These last five, six, however many videos it's been, this is, is difficult stuff to explain and it's difficult stuff to understand. This is the time... I expect to see some questions. And like I said, there is no dumb questions. Playing like you understand it and not asking questions is not going to help you get to 5D. But hopefully you will see that everything I've taught you to be happier and happier, to stop judging, to live in the now, is it making sense why those things are important now? It will stop you from doing the big work, the important work. You do not have time to stop and think about everything, figure it all out, and fractal it down into tiny pieces when you're busy trying to defractal things at a very rapid pace. What took, oh my gosh, hundreds of millions of years to create, you are trying to go back up through that in part of a human lifetime. If you're going to be successful at that, you do not have time to think it out like they did coming down. You've got to learn what the positive uh, moments are, how to balance, how to just accept and move on, and you've got to do it quickly. Okay, that's it for me. I think I'm going to see if people are going to be Skyping, and I'll uh, see you later. Love you so much. Bye now.